Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to the live stream, Dawn of Man. We are going to continue with our last. I'd like to actually get all the way into. Modellini was here and there was some others who had gone up out of chat, which I, I didn't actually get to see. But um, anyway, press any key. Now, is this going to work? Is it going to let us? Yes. Go. Right, we are low on food, so we need to remember that actually what was happening, we had some people coming over this way that were attacking us last time, didn't we? I think we've taken care of them. So really what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start with some new tech. Wait, oh, for a minute there I thought the game had horribly frozen up and everything had stopped working. Neolithic, Copper Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. It's going to take quite a while to be able to get all the way up that far. Uh, we've got already unlocked cereal domestication, and then there's pulses, there's goats we can domesticate. We can get weaving, uh, well digging. There's quite a few different things. Megalithism. Um, what about building fortresses and stuff like that? Oh, masonry, thatching. I don't really know. We, we kind of want to unlock everything. If we can, like, unlock art. We got seven. We do have seven, so I could start to unlock those right now. Stilting right there, re uh, required for a bridge and for donkey domestication. Oh, nice. Right. I think we're going to go with goat domestication first because that's going to allow us to keep some goats. And I figure if we can keep some goats, we can... Actually do a little bit of work. We've got them coming over this way to gather up a few items right here. Um, oh no, they're gathering sticks right there. And then back over that side, they're gathering flint. We need to get some food. Who else have we got joining the stream? Rune Baton, Tim Penno, Fredman556, uh, Jenin99. Good evening, the Catmaster Gaming, Daniel Garcia, Danny Bork. Hello, welcome everybody, I hope you enjoy, I really do, let's just have a look over here a minute, uh, work area, if I click on this, so the fish, we've actually, we've run quite low on fish, on that one, and also on that one, so we might have to do something about that, in order to keep the fish going, um, yeah, we'll definitely have to think about that, but what we do have, what we do have, one thing that we started on, is we started on the wheat over here. So production limit to for straw and for grain is set to unlimited. We planted some fields over here. So I'm hoping that we will be able to do something about that. But we don't have any um, food. We've got, we got a severe lack of food at the moment. We've got one dry fish. Two cured meat. Uh, that's about it. So we, we really do have some serious issues when it comes to food at the moment. Now, one thing that I don't remember is game speed. How do I alter the game speed? I can't remember what button I had to press to alter the game speed. This is not good. Work area exhausted, obtain flint. Oh, that's just great. Right, we're, we're, start, we're starting off bad. We are starting off bad. I need to have a look. Fish. We will have to start fishing in other sections of water. Miss Mucky Pup, hello and welcome to the stream. How are you? It's been a while, actually. And you can see Miss Mucky Pup has been supporting the channel for a while. She's now upgraded to the green little icon next to her name. Because um, she's, she, she's one of the, the members. She's joined the membership. Uh, game speed right there. Game menu. Let's, let's go and have a look in here. Wait, what? Resume. Is that all I got? Well, where does it tell me what the options are? I need to know what the hotkey is. I can't remember what the hotkeys are for speeding up and slowing down. Uh, that's not good. I, I did know what the hotkeys were for speeding up and slowing down, and now I can't remember them. This is terrible. Anyway, I, I, tab is where it sets them to this over here. Over there, we got mouflons. We got young males of those. So how do we go about actually cap... Oh, there. Right. Capture requires sheep domestication. Oh. Now, we've got goat domestication. Sheep domestication is next. Required for sheep and pig domestication. 
required for a stable, sheep domestication, and goat. So, I suppose we could build a, a goat stables. Well, I don't want to do that. We go like that, and get rid of that one. And then I would go to build, and we want storage, I would guess. Warehouse, haystack. Oh, it's not storage. Right. Uh... Metallurgy, production, it must be production then. Tanner, mortar. No. Residence. No. Well, how do I make a goat? Oh, spiritual. Transport, defensive, metallurgy, production, and. St I want to make a goat stable. Storage hut requires thatching. Granary, warehouse. Haystack, rock pile, and storage tent. Well, it's, not, it's none of those. Residence over here is tent, hut, stables. Oh, I see. We've got to have thatching to be able to do it. And we don't have thatching. We need to do that. But we've got the grains over here. So what we will do is we will... Can't zoom out any further. But what we will do is we will go to that one and hunt that one right there. So we send a few people out to, to go and hunt it. And was that there, ah, there's some more right there. We will go like this. I'm gonna send that one, hunt that one right there, hunt that one, hunt that one there, hunt and that one there, hunt. Right. That's all of them they've sent out. Now there is a shortcut for the time scale and I cannot remember what that one is, and it's not telling me. Does anybody know? Does anybody know what the shortcuts are for speeding the game up? Because there is shortcuts. There's definitely shortcuts. Oh, wait. I got barley right there? I didn't even know I had that. Okay. Manage Primal Vision tab. Game speed. There. Oh. Numbers. Yeah, would help if I just uh, just mouse over the numbers and um, mouse over them. It says the bit in the brackets. That's what it tells you. Right. Mouflon times five knowledge plus one. And most of them have gone and escaped by the look of it. I got one over there. You over here are still being hunted. There I've got some wolves. There's more wolves. Oh. I was running. They're all running away. I got one over there. I got one there. I think we've got one has escaped. I got a load of meat now. That's turned up. That's going. That's going to be good. We'll, we'll get that meat back. And this one up here, I will send that one out to be hunted as well. Someone can go after it. And non-cutting edge gaming rider. Uh, who else we got? Daniel Wells, good evening, welcome to the stream, and uh, Miss Mucky Pup, yes, I am very, very good, thank you, Sen is doing well uh, as well, she has currently got 981 pets on World of Warcraft, and she's really struggling now because she doesn't like doing PvP, and a lot of the pets that are remaining are through PvP. The only other option she's really got now, she thinks, is to... Um, well, she can go and buy some from the shop. It is possible to do that. But, yeah, it, it's also... <laughs> it could get a bit expensive going and buying loads of pets from the shop. So it's not something that we necessarily want to do. But, um, yes, Sen is doing well. And... Right, we've got wild boar over here. We are definitely going to need plenty of meat, aren't we? Um, we've got a load of meat here now. Survived the winter. Oh, okay. Well, we've survived the winter. And now we've got some crops over here that we can plant. So what are these saying? Einkorn set to high priority. Right there. But what about the rest of them? Oh, I see. They're planting them. And then they're moving on to the others. So we've got grain right there. That's really good. They will start processing that. I've got more meat over here. So I will send an adult reindeer there. And that one will send someone else to go and hunt for that one as well. There's two of them. We have no flint. Right, that was the bit that I was just searching for. 
we need to find flint. So let me just do that a second. And then place work area, obtain flint. So I need to have a little look around. You can't zoom out any further than I am right now. Ah, right. We've got a big work area of flint over there. There's a smaller bit right here. So I'll start that one. I'll, I'll start right there with a bit of flint and maximum of three people in there. There's production limit for flint is 10 units. Right, that's fine. Okay, so I've got that one. Let me start that one off again. We go to option two, I think. Jason Entwistle, good evening. How are you? Does Sen have a channel? No, she doesn't. She did used to do a few uh, videos with me, but she doesn't do that anymore. So um, we kind of she, she she doesn't she doesn't like to speak on camera. She doesn't like to speak on microphone or anything like that because um, she, well she she's very uncomfortable with strangers listening to her voice. It's, you know a lot of people are like that, and um, it's. Is something that she did to start with, mainly because my channel was very, very small. So there are some videos with her in, but that was, like I said, because the channel was very, very small. And now the channel is a lot bigger, she definitely doesn't want to uh, be in them. Right, still saying that we have no flint. We're going to need to take care of this. I mean, we've got over here, we do... We, those aren't being made. Wooden spears are being made. What are we using flint for? We've got flint spear... Flint axe, flint pick, flint sickle, flint... No, it's because I'm using... I'm, I'm making flint everything here. That is that that is kind of the issue, is that we're making flint everything. We're low on food. No, we're low on food. What have we got here? Blackberry. It can only be collected. A new human was born. We've got Emma over there. Now, I, I got one work area of flint over that way, but there's another work area that I can put up this way. And I think we ought also... Let's switch this over a minute. We will go like that, an auroch, and there we'll go for another auroch like that. So we've got plenty of meat coming. Ooh, there's a bad guy over there. Right. Let's get the meat coming in, and as soon as I've captured some of these, I'm hoping that, that that'll take care of a little bit more of the meat. I'm really hoping. There was... The, where's that um, puma gone? There's, there's a... Uh-oh. There's a group of bears right there. The group of bears is not necessarily a good... Oh, right, that one's down. I got more going on here. They're, they're taking that one on as well. That's good. That's brilliant. Right. And let me just pause that a minute. I'll take all of you lot and then that one right. Oh, hang on. No, I need to go like that and I need to right click on that bear there. Because he's... Oh, it's only a... That's a young female, but it's... Yeah. It's been severely injured. And then we go like that and we'll right click on that one. Take that one down as well. Perfect. Right, so there's four more animals that we've got that we can butcher and slice up and take away with us. The bears, I'm hoping they will just kind of leave us alone and we will leave them alone. We've got... That one could be a bit more of a problem. Cave lion. I want to do another work area for flint down here because I've got a big bit of flint down there. Michael M, thank you very much for your support, sir. That is absolutely brilliant. Very much appreciated. Um, let me just spin this one around here. Absolutely awesome of you. I always appreciate any support. Now, I got that one. That one's up there. Why aren't... Where's, where's my work area? I just placed a work... Oh, there it is. It's hidden under the trees. Right. Uh, increase that to a maximum of three people like that. And then we'll go back over this way. And who else have we got in here? Cass Van Dweel. Hi, Frithgar. Uh, do you Dutch? Uh, no, I'm not Dutch. I'm uh, from the UK. Jem uh, P, good evening. How are you? Now, these people, they're busy working hard. We should get food coming back in fairly soon. 
So we'll leave that like that. We've now got... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a migrating herd over here. Now, what are these? Ibex adult male. I can't really do anything else. We'll just hunt that one. I'm going to send them all to be hunted. Just like this. Like that. And you capture. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it when I capture it. That one right there. Cancel that and capture it instead. And that one. Capture that one. Right. Let's see what happens. We've got three set to be hunted and three set to be captured. But I don't know if they're actually going to be able to get them or not. Everything's run away. We've got one over there. Uh, Flint Spear times ten. We've got Knowledge plus one on there. Here we go. Right, we've got some of those out. I've got two of these up this way. But I haven't yet captured. Oh, we captured that one. Right, that's good. What about the others? There's one to be captured over there. Cave lion attack. Oh, that's good. They took the cave lion out very quickly and very easily. I'm quite pleased with that. There's an, oh, there's, there's little cave lions over here. That, that might not be quite so good. Trader. Not enough stable space for our animals. Now, that is going to be an issue for us. So, let's just pause. This. I've, I've only got four knowledge. But if we go into here, I'm pretty sure previously that a trader had knowledge that we were actually able to trade for, didn't they? Or did I get that wrong? Oh, no, it was skills. Some of them had skills that we could trade for. Ibex are goats and Mouflon are sheep. Okay, thank you. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, now, Flint Spear. Well, actually, Flint Spear would probably be a really good one to trade for. So, his commission is high. This is not good. We, we don't really want high commissions. Uh, we've got some straw we could trade for. Pulses. I'll go with six of them, and I'll go with some bread, uh, linen, wool, leather outfits. No. Right, so I need to get a value of 86. Now, we know that the wooden spear is an easy one to bring out. We can make a lot of them. They're very easy to make. So uh, those, those are nothing. So that, we've got 18 of them. Uh, bone harpoon. I'll do a few of them like that. We'll do five of them. We've got leather right there. We've got slings, skins outfit, leather outfit value. I've got 25 leather outfits. Tannin, flint picks. I don't want to trade flint. Flint is too valuable to us. Just ordinary stone. I can chuck in a load of that. I'll keep some stone because we'll want some. And bones. We can get rid of some of the bones. we got... Loads of those spare. 81. Bone harpoon. Well, let's let's do the bone harpoon. And then I'll knock back two of those. Right, so we got 86. So we got plenty of bread, and we're also buying five flint spears as well. Which I think would be quite helpful this time round. There we go. Nice bit of trading done. We've got... Everything else at the moment seems to be coming through all right. Um, I'm going to... Beech tree cut down. I'm going to individually mark some of the trees and near the settlement for um, knocking down. So we've got a rock pile right there. We've got a rock pile right there. And over here, we've got a wood pile with logs and a wood pile with some sticks and with some more logs as well. So we've got plenty of those over there. Oh, that's stuff from the trader. We've got plenty of room in our storage tents. So I had a tree set to be cut. An oak right there. Collect tannin. We don't want to do anything with that. Not enough space for our animals. Yeah, I know that. Cut down the beech tree. I've got five knowledge points. I just need a few more knowledge points and we will be good to go. What do we got over here? Oh, that's, that's buffaloes. Uh, a megaloceros. Hunt that one. And hunt the cave. We've got an adult male cave lion right there. You know what I'm going to do? I've sent some people out to do some hunting. I'm going to take 
all of this lot over here, and we're going after this adult male cave lion. Where is it? I don't want that one lurking. There it is. There. They're all going to come after that one. So let's speed the game up a little bit so that we can see them coming up. And I've got a small cave lion there, which I'm going to take that one out as well. Rem Ooh. Animal population reached 10, knowledge plus 1. Not enough space in stables for our animals. Cave lion attack. Right, we've taken out the cave lion that I needed to take out. You are... Well, you're just tired. Something else wrong with you, but a lot of these people are getting hungry. A lot of our people are starting to get hungry, which is not good. Oh, I know what else I want to do. Take all of you lot over there and go after this one down here. Let's speed this along because we got another cave lion here. We've got to take you down. Nice. Nicely done. A good collection of spears. New human was born. Population 30. Knowledge plus 3. New human has joined the settlement times 4. I've now got knowledge times 9 points. Ideal. Right, now I can go. We, uh, no, we don't want that. We want thatching. Right there. I can't... Uh, I don't have any straw just yet. Straw is something that we're going to need. So i got game speed times 2 at the moment. And build residence right there. Stables. I need straw for that. We need mud from the river. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put a stable over here. Cave line. No, not enough space for our animals. Acquired cured meat times 100. Knowledge plus 1. So do I have to physically go... Right, what have I got there? Get water, extract mud, and fish. Resource exhausted. You need to wait until it replenishes. Right, so I need to... Let me take that one. Remove, edit, previous, next. Right, edit. I want to move that one. I'm going to move that one over there. Just like that. And you're still much the same. So that'll go to there. And then I will go over here and I will say extract mud from there. We'll use that as our mud extraction. And looking in the storage tents. Right, we're using up some of our items in the storage tent. That's all looking good. Uh, you shouldn't send your people too far away because they'll be far away from food. Right. I must remember that. We don't want too many people getting um, close to the food. Uh, why am I going to the... Uh, Andrew Roth, hello, welcome. Devin Miller, hi, how are you? Uh, but Nameless Gamer, hello, if I haven't said hello already. Um, why am I going for the cave lion? I'm going for the cave lion because they have this horrible tendency to attack me when I don't want them to. So I figured if I took them out first then it would be a lot safer. That, 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 that's my theory behind this, is that them being, that them sort of being um, removed from the equation, that'll make life a bit better for us. Acquired flint sickle times 10. We've got some additional knowledge in there. Uh, let's go to game speed 4. So you, we're waiting on mud. Now I've got mud being gathered from the river over here. And we've got more mud that I can gather from there. So I'll set that one gathering. We've got 33 people here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, what? Just, oh, not enough space for our animals. Um, extractable butcher. Yeah, butcher that one. It always pays to butcher. If we've got if we've got a dog there, we, we want to make good use of it. Um, so we've got 12 tents, and each tent will house three people. Right, so we've got enough space for 36 people. We're running a bit tight on space, really, aren't we? A basic shelter. A hut with a thatched roof. How many people does it house? Stables. Roundhouse requires masonry. I've got no idea how many people it houses. We've got bison coming in over here. Quite big. They're, they're, they are quite big. They are ancient bison over there. They are very, very big, they are. We, uh, still not as well. I'm waiting for this to ripen. As soon as that's ripened, I'm assuming that... Oh, hello. We got a storm. 
As soon as it's ripened, I'm assuming that it will be reasonably... That the straw and everything will be automatically collected. Uh, so let's go to build residence. And I will set a hut being built. Right, how do I... Oh, Z and C to rotate. Right, I'm going to put a hut... Actually, I'm going to put a hut there. Just that side of it. And I'm going to do the same again on the other side of it. Like that. And then they'll be built. They'll just be waiting for some thatch when we finished. Another new human. So I got 34. So yeah, we're, we're, we're running out of space. Running out of space for our people. We need the harvest to be brought in. And let me just have a quick drink a minute. Right. Um, what have we got? You're waiting on mud there. So how many mud have I got? I don't have any mud there. I don't have any mud there. So where's the mud being stored? I don't think mud is stored in those. A mortar? No. Is it just gathered? Pending materials for mud. Now, I've got mud in here. We've got extract mud. Ah, so they've extracted some mud from there. But what, what have they done with the mud? This, this is the bit that I'm a little bit curious about. Is what have they gone and done with it? That's for sticks in there. And then if we look in here, this is cured. Well, we've got ten cured meats in there now. That's really good. And i got a whole load of meat on here as well that is busy curing. And then we've got the mortar over here for making flour. Uh, I've got a haystack right there, which we're not using. That's the tanner over there. So why are you all miserable? Morale. We've all got lo with no morale all the way through. Not really sure why we've got such low morale. And I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any mud. Where is the mud being stored? This is something I'm a little bit curious about. All right, I've got four... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, build. And then I go to uh, residence right there. That needs... Oh, I see. Right. So the, the mud is already been extracted. That one right there. And then this is replenishing. They're coming over and getting some more. So what I actually want to do is I want to go over there and extract more mud like that. And that should be enough to bring it all up through. Right, I have figured all of that out. Uh, Julie Clark, welcome to the stream. Uh, Muhammad Badawi, welcome to the stream as well. Good to see you all. It's good to see so many familiar faces. Now, if morale is low, I know that they like the totem for working on morale. Pre Prestige 3 right there. And the skull pole. Do I should I build more totems? Would this be something? Or maybe they're not maybe they just don't have enough um cooking. This human has low stats and will perform at reduced Right, there there is a way to find out, isn't there? There there is a way. We go to game uh help F1. Right, morale. I need to find out what I need to do to increase morale. Uh, controls, no, I'm not after that. I, I was after that, but we've kind of figured that one out. Defense, human roles, techs, resources. Well, that's not telling me. Hum human status, there we go. Morale, there we go. As a measure of the psychological health of the person, morale goes low, less effective. Morale go down due to hunger, death, or performing tedious tasks such as farming or carrying heavy loads. Of course, yes. Um, and we've got a lot of farming for them to do now, so... Uh, they can visit one of the morale recovering structures. Skull pole, totem, many a dolmen or stone circle. More advanced morale structures recover more morale. The person has to wait a period of time before recovering again from the same structure. So it's important to build a variety. And you can also build beer. But um, that needs to be made from grain. Okay. So we've, we've got a number of different options that we can go for. Uh, let me go into spiritual. Uh, Minia requires megalithism. So I've I've got these, and they can well they can use them. 
So I need to, I do need to advance to that really, don't I? I can get that one right there. If I spend seven points, I'll be able to put a number of these items in. So I think actually that's got to be the next thing that we make. That one right there has got to be the next thing that we unlock. Now we're on four points at the moment. It would help if I actually sped things along a little bit. Keep it all moving. So yes, it's it, things are a little unfortunate. Are, are those our animals? I don't think they are. I think we've got to wait and finish building this one. I, I've got four pending materials. Dry skin times 100. That's great. I got two pending materials now. We just need a little bit more mud gone and collected from the river by someone. And then we will have that. And here we go with the grain harvest. The harvest is ready. They will go and work the fields. And this is why the morale is a little bit low. So hopefully the, the harvest bit will actually get them to bring stuff back. They're going to bring the straw over to these various different structures. And we've also got the grain. They're going to... Oh, you know, that's, that's also going to um, make things a bit tedious for them, I suppose. Uh, but we, we're storing flour in here already. This one over here... Well, that's actually nearly full. Right. I want more storage. Build storage right there. Uh, a warehouse requires masonry. Storage hut. A granary. Okay, I want both of these. So we're going to put a storage hut. We're going to put a granary there in the middle. Like that. And we're going to go to storage. We're going to go with a storage hut. Over here, right next to the granary, right there. I want both of those built, if we can. There's our haystack. That one's being built, so all of the straw. And they don't like this job, do they? Look at them. They're all miserable because they're having to work in fields. And that's what they don't like. So we've got to get... Not enough space. Work area exhausted for flint. Have I exhausted both of these? Uh, no, I haven't. I've got a, I've got the work area over there. It must have been the other one. Right, this is, this is good. I, I need to build more totems, do I? Right, we will build more totems then. Build, and we will go spiritual, and I'll build another totem over here. And we'll sort of put that one in there, so that they can go to that one as well. But, um, I didn't read it like that. I... When I read it, it sort of made me think that I needed to put um, different types of structures rather than just different structures. So we've got several different things to build. We have got plenty of food. I keep looking in all the storages. I should just look up here. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, so right there, I've got milk. Where did I get milk from? Oh, I've got goats, haven't I? But I haven't, like, uh, first structure granary knowledge plus one. Ideal. Right, so there's our granary. We've already, so we've got milk in there, we've got grain in there, we've got some flour in there. This is good. Plenty of those being stored. And then we've got all of that over there. I've got more meat up that way. How much meat have I got at the moment? Let me just pause a second. Vegetables. We, we, we're very low on vegetables now. We've got some fish. Uh, I've got plenty of fishing tools. What about meat? I'm looking for, I'm, I'm looking for meat. We don't have any meat. i got three milk. So I got some goats here somewhere, but I don't know where the goats are. And right there, I still need two more meat. Uh, flint, that's... Ah, oh, ideal. Right, we've got our seven points. Fantastic. Let's go to that one right there so that we can upgrade there. And megalithism. That's more like it. And then down here, extract mud. Extract mud. I need you to extract the mud and get that one built. It's quite important that we get that one built. And then over there we're waiting on mud, and over there we're waiting on mud. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that you bring it to this set to high priority. And that looks like we've got a trader coming in. Someone could come in and do some trading. Michael M., thank you very much again for your support, sir. That is absolutely brilliant. Click on the HUD icon that looks like a hut. Um... Select a tent and click on the hut icon. Wait, what? There. Oh, that one. Oh! Upgrade to hut. Ah! Right, can I do the same with there? Upgrade to storage hut. 
Nice. Okay. We will do that. We will definitely do that. I just want to go to the trader a minute first. Ooh. Right. He has a high commission. I can get a goat from him. Flint axe times ten. There's uh, food right there. Leather. Bone harpoons. I, I can... Wow. Okay, that is a very, very high commission. Now, I've got plenty of grain... So that we can make flour and stuff like that. Now I've got some flint axes. A sling. Let's trade four of them. Wooden spears. I can make a load of those to trade. Like that. Or to trade out a load of those. Uh, skins. i got dry skins 11. I've got leather 14. That's worth five points that is. Leather outfit. Alright let's go one, two, three, and four of those. That's given me 50 points. I don't know if I should be trading. I, you know, I don't think I'm going to trade a goat. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going. I'm not going to do that trade. I want them to hurry up and finish building this one. If they can build that one, then I'll be a happy chappy. What's this? That's a young tree. I thought there was some barley or something growing around here. That's another young tree down there. If you would please come over this way. Not enough space. Acquired nuts times ten. Another new human was born. I'm still waiting on these huts to be built. It's mud. We want. We need mud all the way across. We've just got no mud coming through. Right. Uh, extract mud. And that one. Extract mud. And then this one over here. Extract mud. I cannot extract any more mud. If you just... One more mud. Acquired mud times ten is another knowledge point. That's brilliant. And, uh, three, Cass Van Wheel is 3 a.m. for me. Okay, that is a die-hard viewer. That is a very, very die-hard viewer. That is absolutely brilliant. Work area exhausted, obtain flint. Right, I'm just going to pause a second again. And, yeah, that's the flint all gone there. So we've got more flint over this way. There's a bit right there. We're sort of... We it's getting... Oh, no, that one's... There, I've got some flint up there. We will go up there now. EU Gaming! Thank you very much for your support. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, sir. Absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm going to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to go there. What I want to do is I want to do a work area for flint. And I'm just going to pop that one on there like that a minute and then i go one two three uh, no the maximum number of people on there three like that so we got some more flint going in there i've got a stable over here that's being built i've got another to i got two totems that's oh right so they're happy and they do we have no water for our animals you know, I've got water down here i wonder i wonder uh, plant place work area fish Extract mud, collect tannin, extract water. That didn't ought to be too difficult. So I can put a, a water extraction um, thingy right there. And a work area, collect tannin, extract mud. So that I don't have to keep doing it. Um, Z and C to change. No, I want to make that a little... There we go. We'll go like that. And I'll drop that one down there. So that I extract the mud from this area and we'll go for a maximum of three people there. And three people there like that. Right, so there's that bit done. You over here, you're nearly done. You're coming along. We've got another hut over here. We have no water for our animals. We're going to get water very, very shortly. New human was born. First structure hut, knowledge plus one. First structure stables, knowledge plus one. I've got a... I've actually got three goats in here. So I did have the goats before. Like the, the goats have been around the settlement. It's just that we didn't have anywhere to actually put them in. Uh, acquired water times ten is another knowledge point. I've got to decide what I want to make next. Um, oh, well, decide what I want to use next. So we've got plenty of storage. I don't know if we've got enough overall. I think we're doing all right. We've got the goat domestication. Build... And spiritual. Now, I've got several. So, a standing megalith. A dolmen. 
and a stone circle. Right, well, let's go with this one first. So, what do I need in order to be able to build this thing? It's not just a regular stone, is it? This is, this is going to be something different. I'm going to put this one over here. A little away from the village, I think. Yes. We'll move this one just over there, like that. Now, a megalith. How do you build a megalith? Where do you get a megalith from? I don't even know how we get a megalith. You know what? I'm going to go in here and we, we're going to have a look at the megalith. So, uh, structures in here and spiritual right there. And then a menia right there. Built using a megalith. Right, a giant rock can be used to build megalithic structures. Megaliths need to be mined and get ready for transport and finally pulled by humans to the... Con you can use primal vision in order to find and track megaliths. Okay, so we need to go like that to find them. Now, where am I going to... Oh, look, that's what... There, look. There, these... Uh, I've got one right there, look. There, a megalith. Mine that megalith right there. So that's what we want to do. We needed that primal vision thing in order to be able to bring that over. Now, I do have a lack of meat. So what I'd also like to do is, while we've got the primal vision up, like this, we're going to go and find a little bit more in a way of meat. We've got cave lions over here. There's two young cave lions. They're not going to provide much meat, even if I send the entire encampment out to go and get them. I've got, um, I've got an adult cave lion here. Now, that's a little bit more serious. Over there, we've got a young auroch. So, we'll send out some people to go and hunt that one. But, what I'm going to do a minute is I'm going to take everybody... Everybody that I can, and we're going after this one because we've got flint up here that we're mining. So I'm going to go like that, and we're going to go after that cave lion so that we don't have any serious issues. And that's a wolf there. Okay. And then we've also got a whole load of animals over that side. Right. Let's keep going. Like this. So there's that one. We'll get a load of people come over. I've got one... Person will go hunting that one in a minute. Right. Take it down fast before we kill anybody. There. There's everybody there, like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them after this group. I'm going to do it like that. There. I'll send, I'll send them over this way. So they go after the biggest one, I'm hoping. Where are you? Right, they're all over there. They're on their way. So they'll hunt that one there. Are they going to get it? Right, they got that one. Now go for that one. We do need to go on this hunting thing. It's, it's, it's going to be important. Now go for that one. Go on, you can get it. They're running... They're, Things are running too far away. That's a, they've gone a very long way. Oh, hang on. Go with that one. There. I think that's probably all right. It's it's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. They've, they've abandoned the settlement pretty much for a minute. When we could probably have just gone for the bison over here. But we'll leave it go. We'll let them work through what they got to work through and they will bring back some meat and that's the important thing is they are going to bring back meat to the encampment over here feed animals animal limits empty content so if we go here oh, i got unlimited only very old animals will get slaughtered ah oh, i see all right i i need to have a drink a minute it's all right Right. Um, oh, uh, Judy Clark, 
definitely chocolate cake rather than chocolate ice cream. I think it would be. I think. I think it would be better all round. Wait. No animals currently inside. Where are my animals gone? Oh, are they out looking after? Are they out like walking the goats or something? There is an adult man who has died over here. That one there, I've set that one to be extracted. They did go a little ways away, didn't they? To go and get some of that. Have they slaughtered these goats? How do I see how many goats I've got? We got meat up there. I've got cattle moving in through. I'm going to go with that one there. An adult female. I'm going to send some people off to attack that one a minute. And I've no doubt we'll get some more coming in and uh, to attack as well. They do get a bit frisky when you start attacking them. They don't like it at all. So we've got those up there. They're carrying back skins and more meat and stuff like that. And... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got ten knowledge points over here. So what else have we got? Underground mining. For a flint mine, a copper mine, a tin mine and an iron mine. Well digging. That would be good. Uh, we can unlock some more domestication. Uh, some weaving for a whole load of extra things. That one all the way back there. For a sledge. Uh... Archery, you know what? We're going to go with the underground mining. I think we're going to want that one before any others. All right, that one has run away now. Kar Karalk? Karalk has died of old age. Um, now, who else have I said not said hello to you? Uh, is there anybody? John Deere Boy Eagle. John, John Deere Boy Eagle. Sasquatch Delfino. Ben Visser. Welcome to the stream. Jimmy J, welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Sometimes Jimmy will sleep through. And, well, I don't know where... Oh, I've got them up here, but I don't have anybody coming after him. He's marked. But they're, they're, they're moving away now. And then over here, we've got a whole load of pigs. And if I press tab... Oh, they're actually fairly easy. Let's set a few people, hunt. let's set a, um, somebody hunting a couple of these boars, like that. Get a couple of them going, I'll speed that Aurochs attack. Which way are they going with their attacks? We at least, we took that one out, we took that one out, we've got the boar up over here. Are they going to get him? Right in the middle of the river. Oh, we have managed to take it down. That's good. Although the cave lion being right next to it is probably not in our best interests. So I'm looking at the stables right here and I'm wondering where all my goats have gone. We had goats. We had three goats. But I don't know if there's a way for me to actually see how many goats. i got uh, capacity 44. Well, we've, we've got these. So what we want to do next is upgrade to a regular hut. So we'll do that with those three, like that. So that we've got room for... We'll do it like a, a stage or two at a time. That one, the storage hut right there, that one's now building. So they've got a bit of work to do on there. And trader has arrived. Just pause that a second and see what the trader has got to say. We've got some goats that we could get. Uh, sheep to make. Ah, now look. This is what we were doing, wasn't it? We have to. We can bypass. If I go there, i got to get him 280 points, though. I've also unlocked mining as well, haven't I? Um, flint sickles. I'm going to want those for harvesting, so I don't want to use up too many flint picks. Let's go with several of those. Flint axes. Several of those as well. This is going to get expensive. Going to get very, very expensive. Flint spears. I'll take three. Bone harpoons. i got loads of spare bones. So I can put several of those in. i got 20 of these. Wooden spears, we got loads of them. So I can uh, put, all, uh, put a load of them. There's slings. Maybe not quite so many. Uh... Right, that's all I'll do. So I'm with 301, which means I can put back a flint pick and a flint axe, flint spear, a flint pick, and 
one wooden spear like that. So it's 280 and that gets us sheep domestication. Like that, we don't have to go and get the knowledge points. We've now got sheep domestication as well, which means that we can go and capture some sheep if we want to. If we can. Uh, got, I don't have any other buildings, do I? We've got the granary. No, there's nothing in there. Go, oops, not storage. Residence, there, stables. I'm going to build a second stable. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to go right there next to that one, and we're going to build a second stable. And I also now want to build a mine. We've got build right there. Production, metallurgy, defensive, spiritual tra transport. Uh, we're not ready for that yet. Residents, no. Uh, no, so production. That's what we want. A flint mine, an underground structure to increase flint extraction. Oh, you got to put it over one of those nodes. So I need the nearest flint node to me in order to make this work. I got iron over there and there. So actually the closest one to me is is there, isn't it? We've got a megalith over that side. And I go like this, looking for the flint nodes. The node, we've got nodes up over this way. Needs to be placed on a flint deposit. There is nothing. We've got that one up there. It's, this, it's that one. That's where we're going to have to do it. So we'll put that one onto there, like that. And um, pending material. So it's, it could be a little bit closer, but it's not too bad, I suppose. With the, that is the sort of thing that we can learn to live with. We've got 37 people, capacity for 35. That's because we're upgrading three huts. I upgraded one too many, I think. Uh, knowledge plus one with a storage hut, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Hugh Dombeck, hello and welcome to stream. Click on the plus sign in the top of the screen and click on a picture of the animals. That one. Animals. Ah, nice. Animals that need shelter, three. Total shelter space, ten. Let me see. Right, so we've got general resources, group resources, transports. That's brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much. That is absolutely awesome. I can now see. Uh, so your population will not expand until we have finished building these. Now, I've got mud extraction on the river down here, and we've also got water coming out of here as well. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to prioritize one of those. We'll set that one to high priority like that, so that they go and get mud from there. And uh, We've got our flint mine up and running. I will also extract some mud from there, and I will extract some mud from there. So hopefully they will just speed up. A little tiny bit and get some mud going in there. And this one right here, that is just going to mine. So hopefully they will just keep now using that. It's, oh, there is a limit. There's 50 pieces of flint in there. So there is an actual limit on it. That one's got 3 of 15 left. We have a storm coming in. I don't want a storm. What I do want is for them to... Right, we've got the megalith. Prepare for transport. That's the next thing that we need to do. Let's just speed it along a little bit like this. Of course, with a storm, there is always the chance that we might get a lightning strike somewhere on our settlement, I suppose. Let me just keep watching. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I can see the lightning strikes back there. It's like quite terrifying, to be honest. We got a lot of low morale. We still got low morale. Do I need to bring more people in? I think I might need more skins. What do I need to... Oh no, the upgrading the huts, that's fine. And we've now upgraded one of those huts. Which is good. So I've now got a capacity of 39 people in here. The rest of the mud they will bring as and when they're ready, I'm assuming. I need seven mud over there. Rolling Megalith, knowledge plus one. Okay, so now I've got you. You are being brought over to wherever the Megalith was supposed to be, which was there, aren't you? Do I need to actually... Acquired water times... Oh, they're bringing it through. They are actually rolling it down through. Excellent. So we've got our Megalith being brought over there. 
And we're going to want a work area exhausted. Acquired milk times 10. That one has been exhausted. I've got a mine in there where I've got 50 pieces of flint that will be able to be brought out. We bring the megalith over here. Look at them. Build. This, this is actually really cool. Look at them go. Uh, that's genuinely awesome, the way they're doing it. Oh, there's the goats. They run around, and they milk them as and when they need it. So why is that? Oh, that's right. First structure, many a knowledge plus one. So they come over to this one. That is five extra morale. That's, that's going to keep them happy. They're going to like that. Um, right, well, if I've done one of them, let's, let's try another one. Spiritual, right there. And the next one is a dolmen. I need... I like the idea of putting this dolmen right in the middle of the camp. Right here, like this. I've got the menia over there. I like the idea of putting this one right here. I'm going to drop that one there. Right. So if we've got that one, I then want to go like this so that I can see where we've got these menias. Uh, where, where we've got the stones. I've got one up there. How? Oh. It's like there's a, there is a bridge across the river right there. So I can go to that one and we can start digging that one out. Um, I'm going to just do one at a time, I think would be best. And over this way, we've got some animals. What have we got? We've got wild horses. We've got a young bison. Hunt the young bison and hunt the horse. Let's try that. Are they going to do it? What I'm a bit concerned about is that one. They are a lot more dangerous. Go and hunt that one. They're coming in. There goes the horse. Ah, oh, ideal. Right, ancient bison attack. They're all going to go in after it. Everyone's going to go after this one. So I'm going to do that. There. We'll let them take that one down. Which they've done very quickly and efficiently. Then I will send them after that one. Like that. Uh, so that's another one down. And now... We've got another one there that they can go after. Let's speed that up a little bit. Here's a bigger one. Wait. All of you go after that one. Oh, dear. Right, here, here comes the cavalry. There we go. We take out these bison. That's gonna, that should get us all the meat we need for the winter. If we can bring all of these through, we will have a huge amount of meat for the winter if we can get these. That'll keep us going. Trader has arrived. Right, I've got all of those. Have I got any more bison nearby that I should attack? Uh, there's one over here who is injured. So go after that one. There. Um, oh, there's another one right here. Acquired bone times 100. That one's injured up there. And then I've got another one here. I could go after that one as well. That one's running away. Right. He's been taken down. Hunted, ancient bison times 10. I will now stop. We'll let them bring all of those back in. And I'm going to go there to the trader. So I've got a sheep that I can trade. Archery, I can learn archery. Pick to trade. For 150. That's not a bad price. Some bone harpoons. If I take 10 bone harpoons... There, that's uh, 70. Uh, well, I actually need 210. So it's not cheap. Let's trade in all of the wooden spears. This is an average commission. So it's not that's not nearly as bad. Skins outfits. Right there, I've got 28 of those. I'm assuming those are spares and I'm not stripping people off for these. Uh, otherwise, that's, that's not quite so good, is it? We do that. I need another four of those items. I've got, I got loads of spare straw. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. Uh, take 10 straw. You can go away with that. Uh, bread, flour, grain, dry fish, cured meat. Uh, take an axe right there. 
and a spear, and I'll go with one more outfit. Right, so I've now learned archery. Fantastic. Okay, and also on top of that, I'm also going to go in here, and I'm going to learn a little bit more. We've got, we've got two more that we can unlock. I've just done the archery. Click to unlock fortifications. There's a whole load of fortifications there. Pig domestication. Uh, pulse domestication. Let's go with uh, pulses and also with uh, pigs. We've got both of those for now. We'll take them for now. We'll see how we get on with it. And right. I got a lot of stuff unlocked now. I want to get some more goats. Do goats breed? Right, I've got these. Feed animals. No animals currently inside, but that's because it's early autumn. And we go to animals like that. Like I was told, goats up there. We've only got the three. Uh, some of your people have no warm clothing. That's because apparently I did strip them all off and sell all their clothes. That's... <laughs> Probably not the best way to do things. Uh, I have a boar. Right, I can capture some pigs. We can capture a few pigs and put into here. Let's do that. Capture. Capture. And capture. Let's see if this works. Unpause. Game speed 8. Let's just see what the people do. Are they going to come along and cap... Well, they're coming over to capture them. I've got one right there. There's another one. And the other one has gone over this way. Acquire raw meat times 250. The last pig, I don't think we're going to get it. Right, this person has gone a long way from home. Oh, are we going to get it? Are we, are we going to actually... No, I don't... Oh, we did! We did! Right! We have now got three pigs. Excellent! Let's bring you over this way. So there's two pigs in here. What do they eat? They eat... Oh, that, that's what the straw is for. They eat straw and they eat water. What are the... Do the pigs eat the same? I don't actually know if the pigs eat the same or not. We'll have to wait and see about that. Right, we, yeah, we, I know. We got people with no warm clothing. We need to make plenty of warm clothing. I've got leather outfits there being made. Warm outfit from skins. Raider attack. Oh dear. This is why we need walls. This right here is why we're going to need walls. But they've got a wool outfit. Can we steal their outfits? Right, are the dogs going to come and help? I don't know if the dogs come to help or not, but what I'll do is I will do that. I'm going to go over here. I think this person is going to die. I'm going to do that. Yes, this person did not make it. Here comes... Right, Horgol was killed by a raider, and there I've got a whole load of raiders. Go to the back. Go to the back. Take the ones down at the back. They're the ones that are throwing all the spears. Take them down. Uh, how many people have died? Raiders killed times five. Oh dear, I've, I've lost people. Some of your people have no warm clothing. I've got some bread there. Some grain. I'm assuming that they will pick up everything that they need to pick up over here. Um, but unfortunately, we've got some people that died, and that's not a good thing. We'll just have to sort of live with that. There's, there's nothing else we can do. I've got these busy building. That's times four. I'm still waiting for two more in there. Um, but I've got three pigs, and I've got three goats. So what do pigs give us? Young male pigs over there. I'm assuming that the pigs, you just got to wait until they grow, and then you can slaughter them. I don't think there'd be anything else. The horn icon gets everybody ready to fight. Where's the horn icon? Uh, ah, right. Defense. There. Alert everyone with a weapon. We'll assume combat rolls. Everyone else will get inside a building. No alert. Default behavior. Ah. Okay. This is really cool, this bit up here. I didn't know anything about all of this. 
We need to keep a lookout for sheep now. We've got... Um, we, we do have the sheep ability. So, uh, we will also... Hang on. I'm, I'm looking over here. We've got... Poor Horgol didn't make it. That one is busy, Bill. I need two more mud in there. People should be getting some mud fairly soon. And then they will finish building the stable. All right, let's go and search for some sheep. It might be the wrong time of year for searching for sheep, to be honest. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of sheep right now. Got some animals over there. We've got the pigs over that side. We've got a mouflon right there, but that is an adult male. I need the youngsters. We've got to capture the youngsters, haven't we? So what about you? Mouflon right there. I could go and capture that one. And we can capture that one. This, this is the ones we want, isn't it? The mouflons. I think it is. Or is it these down here? What are you? Ibex. Is it the Ibex or is it the mouflons? I'm not actually sure. We will... Go with those. Because they're close, we'll go and capture these. I'll capture three of them. There, like that. One, two, and three. And then that one I'm going to hunt, and that one I'm going to hunt, like that. So I'm not quite sure if these are the animals that we want to be going after, but I've got a herd of them over here. I've got people on their way. A new human was born. That's a good thing. We've got people. Here they go. They're, they're swimming across the river. Now, are they going to be able to capture any? Ibex hunted... Knowledge plus uh, one. Ideal. I've got some EU gaming. Thank you very much for your support, sir. That is absolutely brilliant of you. Very, very much appreciated. And right there. Uh, we're we're going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to go capture. And I'm going to go capture. And then you, we will hunt. You, we will hunt. And you, we will hunt. So... I'm hoping that we'll bring some of those captured animals back. I'm not going to bother following them. We'll just let it happen. We'll just let it play out however it's going to play out and hope that it works. Right, the stables are now building. We've got more animals being brought. Right, it was goats that I captured previously. Lots of goats. So the mouflon is the sheep, isn't it? So we're bringing back some of those. Ibex are the goats, mouflons are the sheep. Hope oh, old animals get slaughtered. Yes, of course. So, what about the pigs then? Do we can we set it so that the pig, like that the pigs are different? We just pause the game a minute. Animal limits right here. Pigs limit for pig is only very old animals will get slaughtered. Oh, there we go. That was Frithgar 2.0 saying good night to everybody. Shouting across. Right. Uh. Pigs is set for 150% of the population. Any animals over that amount will automatically be slaughtered. 125. Um, let's try this. Well, let's let's try that for a minute. 100. I don't know what the 100% is. I, I don't, how how do you set the um, the limit? Animal limits right there. Help right here. Animal efficient way of controlling to ensure they don't consume too much space. By default, only however you can specify a limit, and your people will slaughter them automatically to keep the population under that amount. People will slaughter the right animals to keep a good female male ratio. Um, too old, even if they are below the limit. I don't understand. What's the limit then? It says 100% of the limit. But what is the limit? Uh, we'll, we'll set, we'll leave the limit high, so that we, we do actually have a limit. But we'll, we'll leave it like that. Right, stables. That one's full. This one over here is almost full. There we go. I'd say almost full. This this one over here now has some space, which is a good thing. I've also only got. Uh, we got. We got a sheep. Excellent. Now we have some people don't have any. Um, warm clothing and in here I've got another sheep we've got a young male sheep in here they need some water 
There we go. We've got water in there. And we've got food. And... Oh, now all the animals have gone outside again. Pig right over here. Pig seems to be heartbroken. Cheers, my good sir. Sorry for the late join. Lossing P, thank you very much for your support, sir. That is absolutely awesome of you. Very, very much appreciated. I have an adult female there and an adult female there. Is that all the pigs that I've got? Is this why they're heartbroken? Um, but anyway, Lossing P, it's very good of you to join us. I'm aware that you are usually at work at this time of day. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm not going to make any comments about the fact that you might be driving <laughs> whilst you're watching. But uh, there we go. Um, pig, adult, uh, what's the plus? Oh, that's low health. Why are you low health? I don't understand why they're low health. Trader has arrived. I don't understand why my pigs have got low health. Let's buy a couple more pigs. Trade value 150 because his commission is really high. Yes, of course it is. Right, flint sickle. We will do that and we'll go with an axe and... All right, fine, I'll do a couple more of them. Bone harpoons. I haven't had a chance to make anything else. Let's try just one pig. Value 75. Even that I'm going to struggle to get. Dry skin. Bones, we could use up a few of those. But we're, we're running low on several of these items. We use up the wooden spears. There. 62 so far. By face. Just ordinary stones. And leather outfit. Or dry skin. I'll do two lots of leather right there. Okay, so I've bought one pig. There we go. One single solitary pig. That should keep us all moving. Now, if I go over there, we look at our general. So we've got, we're still waiting on one house to upgrade over there. But I've got a uh, potential capacity of 43 now. How is our many are doing? The, the megalith over there. Right, we want to prepare that one for dragging around um so that one can be brought over to the construction site and then once that bit is done let's speed this up a little bit the pigs are sick how do we make pigs get healthy where do you get pig medicine from i need some pig medicine that pig is now much healthier he's altogether happier now than he used to be and i've got a pig over there Right, we've got plenty. We we have pigs running around. We've got some stables over here, another stable there. The mud that we do get, we got pending materials up over there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, over there, blackberries. Right, I'm thinking we do need to get some more fruit, and. Obviously, we do still want to be able to capture some animals. I got an adult male auroch over there. So we'll grab that one. And I'm also... Actually, we need to see how what, what straw have we got. We got, oh, we got 43 straw at the moment. That should be plenty for our animals. The auroch over here. I've got two people working on that auroch. And he's down. The fantastic thing about Aurochs is that I think that they are that they do give a lot of um, feed value. Bitter vetch. More bitter vetch. Sure if that's a good thing or not. Okay. Let's hurry things along a little bit. That many are there is ready for rolling. Oh, as soon as so as soon as they've done it, they actually bring that one over. They should roll that down the hill and across the river. At least this is what I'm hoping. They'll bring that one across and they'll bring it over to there. So a new human was born. So while they're doing that, we're, our next one, we're going to go there. I'm going to mine that one out. So I'll go like that. And Vorob has died of old age. Poor Vorob. Uh, structure built hut times five. Knowledge plus one. So we've got another hut done over there. Awesome. Fantastic news. Some of your people have no warm clothing. 
Well, we've now got some sheep somewhere. There's none in there, but we will have sheep. And so what I'm going to do next, I've got that one there. So you've got a nice lot of space in that storage hut. This one here has got mostly weapons and stuff. And then this one's got mostly clothing and stuff. I've got the tannin over here with the tanner. But we've uh, do I have spare tannin? I've got one. And we've got one raw skin. We need to upgrade our storage tent. So we will upgrade that one. But I'm, I'm going to want mud. In order to have that... I, so I think what we'll need to do now is we need to kind of wait for a bit of mud. Although at the same time, I do want to start upgrading all of these um, ones to the thatch hut. So I will go like that. We'll do it one at a time. We go through and upgrade them one at a time. Like that. Uh, it's speeding along a little bit. Here comes the lightning. This could cause us some problems. A mine over here. We're about halfway done with flint in here. We've got people working the mine. It's all looking pretty good. I'm wondering if I should try and go after some, like, woolly mammoths or something. We know that there are woolly mammoths around. I've got... Oh, there's some bears over here. There's some bears there. Where's where's the nearest woolly mammoth? They're a long way away. I mean, we've got things all the way over to here. But this stuff... this This is all a very long way from home, isn't it? Hmm. Where's where were the woolly mammoths? We 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 did see a load previously. Oh, they're all the way over here. Right, the populations do kind of seem to hold themselves, don't they? But it's the mouflons that we want. We'll we'll wait. We'll let them come to us. I think, rather than worrying too much about them, we will allow them to journey towards us. And that one is ready. Newpy nine, thank you. Very much for your support, sir. That is absolutely brilliant. Very, very much appreciated. I will mine out that megalith there as well. So we've got another one that is ready for production. And that's going to bring all three of them in here. Already our people are looking a lot happier. Right? We, you, you look at the people. I don't have any miserable people running around at the moment. And I'm going to say that that is a very, very good thing. Oh, the hut has been upgraded. Now, let me just pause a second. I want to see. So we got vegetables over here. We've got berries, fruit. We've got some pulses. we got milk. we got water. We've got a megalith over there. I don't have mud. Like, I don't seem to have spare mud. Do they just, like, gather the mud out of the river and bring it along when it's needed? Oh, wait. No, there's someone there who's bringing mud. You have mud. What are you doing with the mud? And Newpy9, thank you very much. You are now officially a member. You have joined. You will have a special little symbol next to your name whenever you talk. And the longer you're a member for, the um, the, the colours that they will change. It starts off with the, with the, the black one and then... Changes to a green one, and then I can't remember what order I put the other colours, but there, there are more. Well digging for 200. <laughs> Thank you very much again, UP9. That is very, very generous of you. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm looking at all of these different things that we've got, and I'm thinking we don't want to do any trading at the moment. i got a little bit of wool... I had a few other little items, but I don't think I want to trade for well digging at the moment. There is one thing I want to do. Related resource limits, recycle set to high priority. Uh, skins outfit, leather outfit. I, I need weaving, don't I? Right, I set that one to continuous. That one's the skins are making the slings. Hunting and range combat will... Alright. We'll go with this one. Right click that one. And that one's also going to be permanently making. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll set that like that. So we, we've got that one making as well. We've got some, some bows being made. I'm looking in here. I'm wondering about buying another pig. I don't think I will. No. We're not going to buy anything else. 
We'll, we'll leave it like that for a minute. We've got grain over here that is ready to harvest. Now, I've got two lots of stables. I just want to have a look there and see the animals. We've got four pigs, two sheep, six goats. So, at some point soon... Yeah, oh, I do have more knowledge. We, we, we need to upgrade some more knowledge. So, I can... Uh, flax domestication. Weaving is what we're going to want. A weaver, an outfitter, banner, netting, wool cloth, and linen cloth. These are both going to be very valuable. Fortifications against future raiders. It's going to be something that we'll want. Um, now, I was originally saying... In, I did originally think that we should go for like trying to unlock the next age. But I don't know if we're going to get that far in tonight's stream. But well, I, I do plan on running this game until I have worked my way right the way through it. So, as I keep going... Well, I'm going to go with you and instead of repairing you, I'm just going to upgrade you instead. Needed... Re oh, it's going to repair you first. Great. Okay, fine. Well, we'll, we'll leave it to go anyway. Um, no, what I was thinking is we'll keep playing this game until such time as we've made our way all the way through it. Uh, Michael Maines, I have to leave for now. Well, thank you very much for dropping in on the stream. It has been absolutely fantastic having you here. And we hope to see you again in a future stream. Now, looking at these oh no i know what i want to do we've got so we've got this planted area at the moment i've got 11 grains left from the last harvest we've got 51 straw so we're doing all right i think for straw and grains and stuff like that uh so i'm gonna go there to build residences we're busy upgrading as we speak although another stable i don't think is gonna hurt so i'll go there and z and S to rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the stables like this. I'm going to put one there like that. And that tree right there, I'm going to cut that one down so it's no longer in the way. I've got one more stable. I'll build another stable there. So we've got four stables all together. You right here. What's going on? Oh, it's the goat. They're milking the goat. The goat is ready for milking. So where's the sheep? Where are our sheep? There's the pig sort of wandering around. And I'm looking for a sheep. Is that up? There we go. There's our sheep. Resource exhausted. You need to wait until it's replenished. So slowly, slowly it increases. This is just normal speed. Slowly increases like that. That's, that's, that's brilliant, that is. That's genuinely awesome. We've got our fields busy working. Okay, back this way. Build, storage, and I've got another... Well, we'll wait until that spiritual there is done. Production in here. The tanner, we've got the mortar, we've got... Uh, new P9, thank you very much for dropping in. It has been a pleasure having you here. A place to create clothing at the Outfitter and a weaver as well. So we'll build a weaver. Uh, I'm going to build that one... Uh, well, no, I don't want to build it there. We'll, we'll build this one. Really, we, we're kind of wanting to... We're, we're, we're running out of space a little bit. We're, we're going to need to start increasing the space a lot more. Um, let's put you... Over that side, like that, just for now. And then I'll go back over here. Lossing P, thank you very much, sir, once again for your support. Uh, feel free to like, sub, and join the Frithcord, everybody. Okay, so he's supporting me and double supporting me by using his free speech to um, promote the channel. That's absolutely legendary of you, sir. Jimmy J, thank you very much. Factorio, says Jimmy J. Uh, yeah, Factorio. Factorio is absolutely awesome. Everybody loves Factorio. It's, it's brilliant. I thoroughly recommend it. Anyway, Jimmy, thank you very much for your support. Fantastic. Uh, Rob Brooks, hello. How are you? Matt Cedars, have a good night. All oh, great stream as always. Frithgar, keep up the great work. Uh, thank you very much for dropping by. It has been a pleasure having you here. Uh, so, what's that one there? I've got the... That's the weaver, isn't it? Yeah. So, we got I got a weaver right there. So, if we've got one weaver, we will also go for a production and we'll go for an outfitter. I'm assuming that that's going to be a slight upgrade from that one over there. So, let me... 
I'm going to rotate that round a little bit. And we'll put that one near the weaver over here. So we have the two of them side by side. Uh, you over this way. So you're making some outfits. But then we've got the weaver and the outfitter over this side. And they will make more outfits. And that, I think that's, that's definitely going to help us. That is definitely going to be a step in the right direction. Look at all the food we've got in the granary. Oh my goodness me, that is absolutely fantastic. And then we've got it we got even more food in the other storages. Right, we've got even more over here, and then we've got a load of I love how they sort them out fairly well into appropriate places for it all to be stored. Uh, where's the, the oh the mud was being stored in there, wasn't it? Except that I'm now using it in upgrading that and building that one over there. I've got two many is over here. We got one more somewhere. Where was that one? They, they were working on it somewhere. Two new humans have joined the settlement. I've got a capacity of 45. So we've got more people to come and join us. Where's the... Oh, it's over there. Right there. And it's ready for transport as well. Let's speed things along a little bit. It's getting a little bit slow right here. And also, i tell you what I will do. We will just have a quick scan around and see what we've got. We've got oh, we've got another mouflon over there. But that's an adult. And then here, Megaloceros. Right, we'll go on a hunting trip or two. It's about the right time of year for it. Okay, we will hunt you. We will hunt you. I'm not going to grab everybody and send them off because I don't think that's such a good idea, to be honest. Not generally speaking. And we will do that. Okay, there we go. Game speed times eight. We should have some people coming out. We've got a sheep over there that's going to be hunted, an adult. And then these three. I'm hoping these three aren't going to move too far away before the hunt starts. There we go. Right. The hunt has started. Acquire water 250. They're, they're doing well with their acquiring of water. That one's down. I've got... The sheep over there is down. And I've got this one over this side of the river. Acquired six times 500. First structure weaver. Tires uh, another... Right, well, we've, we've got a few animals over that way that I took out. So let me go back onto this one again. And I've got another adult male mouflon over there, which I'm going to set for hunt. And... I've got a wild boar over there, which I'm going to set for hunt. I don't think there's any more for a minute. Right. Come out of that. And we'll leave them go. We'll, we'll just let them carry on and do what they got to do. They're bringing another one of those great big ones over there. Hunted Megaloceros times five. Another not. Ooh, ideal. Go into here. Oh, while I'm in here, it's, it's actually still running in the background. Now, I can wait and get 20 points and upgrade to the Copper Age, or we can keep working on some of these. So, uh, sledge making does stilting and sledge. Stilting is for building bridges, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's required to do the stilting. And then we get bridge and donkey domestication. Ah. Probably be good. Flax domestication there. Uh, flax... Uh, oh, required for fruit tree domestication and flax. We should be able to do the flax regardless. Uh, yeah, with that one. Fortifications. Let's do the fortifications. I think we might be glad of that. I think that's going to be something that's going to benefit us quite a lot. A oh, boar has escaped. I was going to say, that's, that's not our pig, is it? No, it's not. It's definitely not the pig. We're waiting for four muds for that one. They'll bring, they'll bring it over here when they're good and ready. It'll all be well. And then once I've done that, I will then start upgrading that one. But I'll wait until this... Actually, I'm going to wait until we've got a bit of mud in storage. Because the mud does take a while. It kind of does take a very, very long time. So let me extract mud from there and from there and from there. Set them... Uh, Jarek has died of old age. Acquired bread times 250 is some more knowledge. We're getting... I, I like the way that the knowledge does build up. It's, it sort of seems to work fairly well. I've got wool outfits over here. Let's, let's, ooh. let's have a look in here. So we've got continuous production for wool outfits and linen outfits. And then in here, continuous production for those as well. 
Uh, raw skin there. And a uh, raw skin in that one. So I've got a raw skin in each one. i got seven raw skins at the moment. I don't have any spare tannin. Alright, tannin is something that... Oh, I've got tannin extraction going on here. I've only got four trees that I can extract it from. Collect it. Oh, that can only be done in the spring. That's why. Tannin from the oak. Pines. Right, anyway. Yeah. Tannin extraction there. I know what I can do. Can't I? Can I alter this one? Uh, edit work area like that. And I put it down there. Z and C. That's as big as I can go with the work area there. And I drop that one down there like that. So now I've got a whole load more um, bits of tannin that I can go and extract and we can use. And I'm also going to... We've got a production limit set. I'm going to change that up to 20 bits of tannin because it's kind of a, a, a useful I, a useful thing to have, isn't it? Bow times 10. We've got uh, more knowledge. And you. Right, what have I got? i got some more sheep here. I can dig. I can do the well digging. <coughs> All right, excuse me a minute. I just got to have another drink. <coughs> uh, Jenin says, "Get sledge making." Okay. Apparently, I should have got sledge making. I will get that one. I don't worry. I will. I will. Uh, wool right there, so we get more warm outfits. Or I could just bypass and buy some sheep. But I don't know if i got enough to trade. Like, I've got very few of the skins outfits. I've got some leather outfits there that we could trade a little bit of. Wool outfits aren't worth very much. Um, again, it's the, the flint seems to be the bit that's actually worth. I, I don't have enough to trade, though, although the commission is very low. 98. I get that. Bone harpoons. I trade... I trade 10 of those. There. Yeah, so there's 70 already. And then I can trade 8 of those. And... I could go with all 10 stones, because stone is really easy to get. Oops. I'll go with that. There. Yeah, 88 like that. And then leather outfits. Two of them. Or two slings, maybe. Let's just go with two slings like that. Okay, so I bought one sheep. Okay. I feel that's a good trade. Animal population reached 25. Knowledge plus one. So we want one more knowledge point and we will be doing very well. So we've got animals in here. I got a load of sheep. Um, old female goat. Sheep, goat. I got plenty in here. One, two, three pigs in there. And one, two, three, four, five pigs over here. So, what's the upper limit on the number of pigs that I can keep? Is This is the bit that I'm very curious about. Animal limitations. 150% of the population is pigs. But what, I, I don't get what the actual, but what's the population limit? Where does it set the actual population for the animals? Like pigs right there. I got eight goats, three sheep, and eight pigs. The pigs do breed quite quickly by the look of it. But how do you, what, what, what decides on what is the limit of it? Uh, we'll, we'll leave it as it is. I, I won't change it. We'll, we'll just keep it going. Um, Lotting Peas is coffee for the great overlord. Yes, I appreciate that. Coffee is always good. Coffee is, oh, we, we built it. Uh, work area exhausted. Obtain stone. Go and click on that one. Right, where is our obtain stones? That was there. <gasps> Look. Look, we've got mouflons over here. Capture and... Capture. I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, because we'll leave the adults there. And then maybe they will breed more. And, and then we'll have more of them later on. Right, well, the stone was up there. I need, an, I need a new work area for gathering of stone. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, I've, I've got loads of stone right here that we can gather. So I will drop that one 
down right there like that. And I will go a maximum of three people. And we will set the limit of stone to 20 units. Because, well, why not? 20 units, I feel, is probably pretty good. Uh, nothing in there, and nothing in there. Tw yeah, 20 units, because we do frequently use the stone to trade with the trader. So it's, it's probably not a bad thing to have a little bit extra in there. Um, we've got grains and... Uh, sorry, straw and water being brought in for our animals. Coming along, and we should also get some more sheep turning up very, very soon. In just a minute. The winter, we're just about to survive another... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Scroll in the limit window. Right, wait a minute. Scroll in the limit window. I'm, I'm scrolling. Right, see, I can do that, and it says 150% of the population limits on there. But it's not actually telling me what the number of animals is. This is the bit that I'm wondering about. Sledges help make long journeys go faster. Keep scrolling and you could get numbers instead of percentages. Oh, right. Now I'm with you. Um, going like... Ah! Set the number of pigs. Okay, well, if I set the number of pigs to ten, like that, and then any more that they get, they, they will slaughter. And the rest of the animals, we'll, we'll just let them run. So at the moment, we will go with 10 pigs. We'll see how that works out. How many have we got at the moment? Speed, defense, uh, animals. Yeah, we're still on 8 pigs at the minute. We've got 5 sheep. Those we can bring in wool. And what else do I want? Oh, right now. Um, I've got more things that I'm going to want to build yet. There's still more stuff that I want to build. I want to upgrade some residences. We've got three spare mud right now, so we're not doing bad. Defenses. We've got new defenses that I can build. But this, you know, again, it's, it's the sort of thing that takes a long time to, like, set up. I don't know which ones I should go for first. Uh, skins, dryers, no. Uh, spiritual. I've done the dolmen. Stone circle. Oh, fantastic. Oh, this is just... We, we can build Stonehenge. We can actually go and build... St we can throw Stonehenge down in the corner over here. We're going to build Stonehenge, but we're going to put that one back here a bit, I think. I'm thinking maybe... Well, we need to... You know what? Cancel that a minute. Because I need to... Spiritual right there. Right, we need six megaliths for this. So let's see where we've actually got six of them. This is, this is what we're going to have to plan out carefully. So we've got one there and one there. Which makes two. I got three over there. Which is a fair way from home. Uh, four I could get all the way over there. Hmm. Right. Two over there, I said. Three there. And then number four was over there. Where else have we got? Have we got any more? Oh, there's one up there. That would make number five. I suppose the other side of the river is way back over that side. But what about this side of the river over here? Have we got any here? So there's a crossing there. Oh, ah, here we go. Right, we've got a couple more over this side. Well, we've got them. It's just a question of bringing them in so that they can actually be used. There's more back there. So it is a fair way from home. Like, we've got a long way to go in order to be able to drag them back. Now, at the moment, right there, I've got work area. We've got grain. We've got vegetables. And i got four people working this particular zone. We've got some fruits and stuff coming in from there. Um, where on earth would we... I suppose, really, we could build it back there. It's a little bit out from the village. But honestly, it's looking to me like it might be the best place. I've got some resources back there that we use. I don't know how big we end up making our town anyway. And it's, it is getting to the point where we're building a town. So we would go 
Spiritual over here. We've got that one. Uh, statue requires stone carving. Banner. Cairn. Complex megalithism. Wow. Okay, right. Stone circle. Right here. Why can't I build it there? What's wrong with... What's, why, what's wrong with that bit? Is that... Oh, that's the stone on the ground right there, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to build that one there. That one's... That's where it's going to go. So we will start off with that one over there. Mine. That's going to be our very first one that we're going to construct. So that should keep people very, very happy. They will be happy with life there. Uh, that goat has been marked for death. As has that goat there. And... That goes over there. Our goat population is about to plummet. They, they, have, um, they, they have angered people. Well, actually, they've just gotten old. That's all. They've, they've just gotten old. And wait a minute. I'm going to go up here. How we do? Oh, we got seven. We got seven. Hang on a minute. Pause. Seven. People are telling me I need sledges. Sledge making. We've got to do it. There we go. We have done sledge making. So it, I don't think we're going to get the whole copper thing this time. That's, that's not going to happen. We'll do that in two weeks' time. I'm going to keep playing this game until such time as I've unlocked everything. That's my plan. I'm going to keep going until I've unlocked everything we've gone through and we've played a complete playthrough all the way through. Because why not? I think it would be really good fun to do that. Um, so it, it, we'll just keep working on this game. I'm not going to do like a regular series. We'll just do this one as a stream series instead. Which I think is quite an awesome sort of thing to try and do. Uh, new human has joined. Population 40, knowledge plus 3. That's a good start. Uh, residents, stables, right there. I want to rotate you round like that. Yeah, we'll put that one right there. So I've now got some additional stables. That one is working over there. So we're, we're busy making. We've got wool outfits up there. But it's flax that I want. I'm thinking flax. Now that one right there. When, once the stone has been used up. I can gather the stone. Ah, I see. So we've got some little bits of stone. Once the stone area has been used up. It disappears, doesn't it? So I could use up that bit. This over here. Can I get rid of it? If I like build over the top of it. So what I'm thinking is that we want to do another field. And I want to do a field of flax. Get rid of that. And I go to plant right here. So I've got bitter vetch, chickpeas, lentils, peas, barley, einkorn, emma. Cherry tree, chestnut, service tree. Requires fruit tree domestication. Pear tree, flax. flax dom oh, I don't have it yet. Flax domestication, where's that? I was looking at it, trying to decide if I should, and I decided against it. I went with something else. Oh, well. My bad. Right, fine. As I didn't do it, I didn't do it. We, we, we'll just sort of live without it. So at the moment, I've got the mud will be that we've got at the moment will be brought over there. We're still waiting on a little bit. It's um, mud amount 30% in there. So let's... Go up this way and extract a bit more mud. We'll go through like that. And I'll have several mud extractions all the way up there. And I'll do another one down this way as well. Where is... Oh! I can't do the bit in the middle. There, flint mine has been exhausted. Oh, it's now gone completely. Right, well, in which case, I will build a mine up on here, because that's the next closest bit. So we will go to build, and we will go to production, and we will go to a flint mine right there, like that. So that one, pending materials. Okay, so I've got a whole load of mud that I have asked people to go and get, and we've got a flint mine that is being built, and I suspect I've also got that one ready to roll. Prepare for transport. So you can come back through. We've got over here Ancient Bison. I'll leave that one right where he is. Now, I want to press tab a minute because I want to find some more of these. I got... Uh, nope. That one, mine. And that one there, mine. 
I'm going to set two of those going now. Like that. And then we'll come out of that. That one's already finished. Stables are done. I sent... Oh, I've got nine pieces of mud now. So what I'd like to do is I want to go to the storage tent and I want to upgrade. So I've got eight pieces of mud. Do they empty it out before they... They do. They stick everything out the front before they actually do the upgrade. But then we'll have a load more storage. So I want to do this with all of it. Uh, recycle progress. So they're taking everything out and recycling. Trader. Commission low. This is good. Goat. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me just pause. How many goat? Let's see what livestock situation is. Seven goats, five sheep, and eight pigs. I'm not going to buy any more animals. So let's have a look. You've got... Yeah, you, you've got goats. Uh, I could trade some linen. You know what? I'm not going to trade anything for a minute. No trading. We will leave that just as it is. And let that one go through. I'm going to have a little... Oh, Trock has died of old age. A little drink. Right. Uh, cart icon is where you make sledges. Cart icon. I'm looking for a cart icon. Somebody said... Um, transports. Oh, that's that's the ones. Oh, I, right. Uh, cart icon. Uh, Genin ninety nine. Build. Transport right there. Sledge. A basic human pulled transport. Ah, right. So I put these down. Shift click to make multiple of these. So I will go one and two and three and four. I don't know if it's going to be very, very useful having four of them, but they're there. We've placed the order. It has now been done. We have committed. We don't need anything else with the trader. These over here are now building. They should have all of the materials that we need in order to be able to do it, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Julie Clark has just gone and spent $50 on ice cream. Um... Good gravy. That is a fair quantity of ice cream. It really is. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Genuinely hope that you enjoy it. First structure sledge plus one. Oh, wait a minute. I did four, didn't I? Let me go build and... Oh. Do they just keep building them over and over? Or do they just stop once it's built? That one's done. Sledge. Oh, no. Right. So if I go for one more, I think when you get to five of them, because that's the, that's the case with many of the other things, is once you get five of something, you get bonuses. And it, it really helps. So if I go with one more right there, <coughs> excuse me, um, it should work out all right. Now, I did have over this way felling trees. So we will go... I'm waiting for more trees to grow. I've got... Right, let's pause this a second, because in here, I've got work area, collect plants, and that is... I've got blackberries there, and then I've got some grains as well. But over this side, see, we got the pear tree over here. i got chestnuts. That is barley over that side. So I'm going to take you, and I'm going to... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. That, that, was, that was my bad. That was my bad. No, I want to go to place, work, area, and uh, tannin, extract, cut down trees, gather sticks, fish, collect, extract mud. Wait, what? Well, that's not what I want. Cut down, extract, obtain flint, hunt, fish, collect... Oh, there, that was the one. Collect and harvest wild plants. And then I'll make that one bigger, like that, so that I encompass the trees over here. So I put that one down there like that. And then I will go one, two, three. We'll get four people working on that. Actually, I could probably go for five people working on that, just in case, because it's kind of a seasonal thing, isn't it? So they do a short burst on it, and then that's it. 
So those are working on that over there. And then over this side, what else have I got? Place work area, manage. Limits, resources, stats, domestic animal. Wow, we got so much stuff here. It's like so many different options as well. That's a load of resource gathering that we can do. And then I've got the tannin gathering thing over there, which is taking in a lot of these. So I'm going to go with a timber one. Place work area there. Cut down trees. I'm going to drop that one there. I'm going to chop down the trees right there like that. And go with you. One, three, and yeah, we'll set the limit to ten logs. That one, unfortunately, that's a tannin tree, so I, I don't want that one to be cut down, but uh, it will be. So it's only the one, though. It's only the one, and we do we've got we do have spare tannin, so I think that's going to be all right. I don't think that's going to be a major issue. That one right there, uh, we have no flint. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Fear not, because right up there, we're pending materials. We have more flint on its way. We have a new human that has been born. Our uh, huts over here. That one's in need of repair. You down here. We're waiting on two logs, and here comes the logs now. We're cutting down the trees ready for it. Storm. No, I'm just, I'm just going to power through the storm. We'll be fine. Look, see, they're cutting these down really quickly. Bringing them in so that we've got plenty in storage. It's because we'd run out. That was where our issues... Wow, look at the storm. This thing's going nuts. What has happened? Oh, Iman died of old age. I don't want people dying of old age. This is not a good thing. It doesn't do us well. Right, that... The, okay, there we go. Our storage is building. We will very soon have that one complete. We've got five mud spare at the moment. I've got space for 49 people. We have no flint. We have no flint. We have no flint. Pending materials too. We will soon have flint. Here comes somebody. Acquired log times 100. Structure built rolling megalith times 5. Excellent. Alright, got that one there. That megalith over there is ready to roll. Alright, hang on a second. Uh... Knowledge there, I got some more knowledge. Flax domestication and stilting for a bridge and donkey domestication. I want the flax. That's what I want. I want flax right there. Now, I did also have these two, and they've been mined out already. So we will go there, prepare for transport, and we'll go over there and prepare that one for transport as well. Milestone unlock Neo Farmer. What's Neo Farmer? What have I unlocked? A milestone Neo Farmer. I'd... Where do we go for milestones? Straw chart, food chart, defense, speed, animals, transports, grouped, resources, general. Okay, it's not up there. I don't know. I don't know where we go for that. Let's just do this. Uh, there, I'll go to the times four one. That one is now up and running. I've got damage on some of these huts. I'm going to start upgrading some of these huts. I've got six mud at the moment. That one right there to upgrade, I would need four mud. We'll upgrade two huts. Two of them is good. Wool times ten, knowledge plus one. Wool cloth times ten, knowledge plus one. That's building. Uh, that's pushing us along. Oh, wait a minute. I said I wanted to do the flax, didn't I? Right. I've got a tree harvest bit over here. So you right there, uh, remove that work area. That one... I don't know how to get rid of that one. I suppose it doesn't really matter. And plant flax. Now we're talking. Right, so I want to click and... Right, I want to go to that area right there. I can't do... I've got, a, um, I've got stone in the way right there. That's not good. That's as big a field as I can make. Just there. And that's... Gonna, that's got me some stone in the way. I'll, I won't make the flax quite so big, maybe. Oh, I know what I can do. Because that goes out to there like that. I'll put one flax field there. Place entity. And then I will go for another one. Flax. Actually, no, cancel. 
Uh, plant, bitter, vetch, chickpeas, lentils, peas. Let's go with chickpeas, I think. That's going to be something that people will want, isn't it? Let's go around over this way. This this is kind of where our farm is, isn't it? Like, this is our farming area over here. And I can do it out that way. Let me... I go out there like that. That's another big area of farming. I drop that one there and place. That's got rid of a whole load of those items there. I've still got fruit on some of these, and we've still got some of these wild crops as well. So we'll leave that one in place, like, just as it is. And now we'll carry on. So we've got two fields over there. We've got flax, and we've got uh, peas as well. 43 people. I've got capacity for 43 as well. New human was born. I've run out of capacity. I just need a little bit. I need one more piece of mud. There. Oh, we're waiting on some straw. Well, I've got plenty of straw. I've got loads of straw. So I'll bring that over, and they will upgrade that hut very, very quickly, and then that will be done. We have no flint. Uh, we should now start getting some flint. That's good. And you, an adult female pig. That's our pig. That's our pig over there. What's it doing all the way out over there? It's going to get eaten by something. Something's going to come along and eat that pig. We don't want that. Look, they're dragging... I love the way that they do that for a little bit. They, they drag it along a little bit, and then they pack up, they move back, they go and do some other stuff, and then they go back, they move it a bit further, and they keep going like that. Uh, Yerak has died of old age. The trader has arrived. I've... Go there. Right. Uh, what have you got? You've got linen. Uh, there's a couple of goats. We've got some straw. Got some skins. Uh, you don't have anything I want. I now have a capacity of 51 people, so I'm going to go to the next hut, and we're going to upgrade that one, like that. Look at all these huts. Look at all the upgrades we're doing. Animal limits. Animal limits are an efficient way of controlling your animal population. Right, let's have a look then. We've got those in there, those there. We are wanting some... I've got lots of pigs. I uh, should have plenty of food. Go there to the animals. I've got ten, eight, and seven. Yeah, that's all right. Right, well, the pigs should allow us to store a little bit of food. Right, I have only got a couple of minutes left now. I bet Frithgar is going to look at chat and think what has happened here. Um, yeah, I'm now looking at the chat and I am wondering what's going on. Uh, we're talking about ice cream. I got that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I... Okay. Oh, Leaper. Hi, Frithgar. I see Leaper just there. Batstar5, I don't know if I've said hello to you. Hello and welcome to the stream. We are literally just about to wrap it up. Um, I've had a lot of fun this evening. I've been really enjoying this game. I mean, I enjoyed it last time, but I'm now really starting to get into this. We've got one stone over there. I've got two more that are on their way. We've got that one over there that they're uh, waiting on some materials. Where's the other one? There's another one somewhere. Another... Oh, there it is. It's over there. That one, I'm waiting on lots of materials. So it, it takes a little while, doesn't it? It takes a while for them. Uh, Karen has died of old age. Quired water times 500... I've only got five straw left. I don't know if I've got enough straw to see me through the winter. Well, it's just about coming to the end of the winter. Now, we just slaughtered a pig just in there. So we've got some more meat coming through. We've got plenty of meat. Uh, two bits of straw. And look at all of the animals that are now ready for be being like the, the, we, we, we've said for slaughter. There's a lot of animals here ready for slaughter now. They're all old ones. There is a huge number. I'm thinking that if we don't get everything planted, we could be in trouble. Now, what do we got? We've got chickpeas over here. They won't give us straw. We're going to want some more crops to give us straw. We really are. Uh, if we don't get stuff to get some more straw... Debbie Defoe, hi. Welcome to the stream. I'm literally just about to leave, unfortunately. Um... Uh, 
It's good that we've got some more people coming in, which I think is absolutely awesome. Dran has died of old age. Uh, there, I knew it with the, stru the, the sledges. Structure built. That's why we've got another knowledge there. Look at this. Okay, so we've got well digging and we've got stilting. We're going to go with that one because we'll be able to build something across. We'll be able to ra raider attack. Uh, I've got a lot of raiders. Now, do I leave this on hold as, like, this ultimate kind of um, cliffhanger moment? Because it's 10 o'clock and it is time for me to finish the stream. Do I leave the cliffhanger moment and we continue with this in our next stream? Or, no, I'm not going to do that to you. I won't do that to you. Right, defense. And alert. Everybody with a weapon. Everybody with a weapon. Come on. Weapons, people, weapons. Assemble, assemble. We have trouble a coming. And oh, we've got the dogs with us as well. Fantastic. So what do we do? Open all gates, close all gates, no alert. People go about their regular behaviour. Come the dogs. And there comes the people. They're ready this time. Look at them go. They are actually ready now. By doing that alert thing, that is that is brilliant. The alert thing is awesome. That worked really well. That was genuinely fantastic. That was so cool. Right. No alerts. We can send the alert away. That was awesome. That really worked well. We do need defences. So I think in our next stream, we're going to have to start looking at defences. And... But I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. Where are we going to build our defences? We're going to sort of go through here and... Um, well, do we include... Do we go all the way out around the fields? Do we just go around the settlement here? Just keep it in tight? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we will do that in two weeks' time when we come back to this. Because next week it will be a Farming Simulator 19 multiplayer live stream. If you'd like to join in a multiplayer, then you do need to be on the Discord and you'd also need to be in Great Book of Names. You can find all the details about all of that on the Discord. There is a link in the description down below for the Discord if you would like to come along and join it. Thank you very, very much to everybody that has joined us this evening. Thank you also to everybody that's donated. It's very generous of you. Anybody that has never donated before, that has earned you a place in the Great Book of Names and also the ability to play in the multiplayer live stream next week if you would like to join on Farming Simulator. Um, thank you to the moderators for keeping us all on a straight and narrow this evening. It is very much appreciated to all of you. And we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.